Welcome to another edition of the Mach 7 Podcast. This week, we're going to do the entire podcast in the form of a rap. Wicka wicka! I am your host, Andrew, but you can call me MC Insecure. Collaborating with me on this track is MC Gets Sidetracked Easily, Travis. Hey guys. Are you, is anybody ever going to, like, do a more creative intro than, like, hey or hey guys? Welcome everybody! Or, shalom for our diverse listeners. Yeah, good try. Yeah, I'm getting creative. Like, people need to, like, play off what my intro is, right? So I say you're, you're a rapper named MC Get Sidetracked Easily, then you should do something and then get sidetracked easily, rather than say, hey guys. What do you want me to do? You want me to rap? <sighs> I can't rap. You should make that noise. <laughs> like that? Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. Um, Not exactly so, happy with that. What did you do, bro? Not much. What do you have to, for us to discuss this week? Uh, nothing. That's good. Yeah. We normally don't. You should really put him in, like, your bedroom or something so he isn't looking right at us because he's going to want out and he's going to start making noises. He's going to want what? He's going to want out and start making noises. Yeah, that's noises. not how you said it the first time. What did I say? You oot. said a Canadian. Oot. Oot. Oot in the boot. Oot in the boot. I had a Canadian professor once and she said that. Oh, my God. So what did I say? You I called it. it. You called it. So you had a Canadian professor. Yeah, she wasn't cool. She like it was that. a she? Yeah. She, uh, she was my perspective teacher, and she sucked. What's perspectives about? Uh, to various things. Like, I don't know. It's like a writing-type class. Oh, is it really? That but there's, sucks. like, different topics and stuff. Welcome to my major. Like, the, uh, the zombies in media, or whatever that class is. That's oh, a, zombie ethics? Yeah, something like that. That's a perspectives class. Oh. So. I had that class. Hmm, there you go. It was actually really fun. Yeah. I got to watch Walking Dead yeah. for assignments. And then discuss what they did was right or wrong. Hmm. I mean, they're zombies, right? So I'm going to go ahead and say right. But here's a question. Okay. <clears throat> so how do you normally treat the dead? Bury them. Or burn them. But, I mean, you treat them with respect, right? I guess. You don't punch a zombie. Uh, I mean, a dead human. Normally. Yeah. Like unless- in a casket. Do you go up to a casket and just go... Bam, right but I feel like face. zombies different though because they're trying to Hold kill on. you. So it's Hold not really. On. The I'm same. asking you, how do you how do you treat the dead normally? Uh, it depends on what they did to die. What would you do to somebody who did something good? Uh, you know, say nice knowing you. Very yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. Move on. Okay. Now, what about somebody who died who was bad? Uh, or just an idiot? Um, I don't know blame them for their mistake but what would you how would you treat their body oh uh i don't know i'm sorry for your loss move on exactly so i was trying to make a segue into kevin ward there and he didn't really pick up on it so uh, we could we could segue into robin williams yeah I really except that's know. sad though so. that is sad let's keep let's keep sad stuff out of the podcast uh, okay. i'll talk about how dumb kevin ward is but i don't want to talk about robin williams all oh, right yeah. you want to talk about kevin ward no what was your point you're trying to make a point and you're oh and there's just it was, it was just one of the examples we had to discuss in class it's kind of like you know you have to look at how do we normally treat the dead, and why do we treat zombies differently? Because um, they're trying to bite your face off, that's why. Yeah, but you, me- oh, you didn't watch Walking Dead. No. Um, in the second season, the group meets a farmer named Herschel, and they start out with Herschel. Pretty good farmer name. Yeah. And Herschel is clinging on to the hope that there will be some way that we can turn these people, either away from being zombies without killing them, or from... Um, zombies back to humans. Obviously, I don't think that could ever be possible because they, in The Walking Dead, uh, the people would die because of an illness most often. Right. And like it would cause like a fever, which would make them just die. And then later, that virus would reactivate the primal parts of their brain, and they would come back to life, quote unquote. So he was clinging on to the hope that there were going to be humans again. So he tried to not kill zombies. Instead, he would just like herd them into his barn and he would feed them like chickens and that type of stuff in a way to keep them alive that guy's messed up well you know can you blame him he's trying to they already died though like he couldn't turn them back to being humans and be he was trying to find a way away from just having to shoot him in the forehead so i got you but that's the whole reason why zombies are so prevalent in like media nowadays why because they're human-like, but there's no, like, it's not morally wrong to kill them because they're already dead. As opposed to something like, 
I mean, I'm not going to say there's anything morally wrong with killing the soldiers in Call of Duty, but you can make an argument that you are t- committing a mass genocide when you oh, play like, Call of Duty. But it's like, with zombie games, already dead, so I mean, there's really no problem with or destroying them. Or in Halo, when you're shooting aliens. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. But I mean, not in multiplayer. Obviously, in multiplayer, you're shooting people. But the whole point is that they're human-like, but they're not actually humans because they're zombies. Here's a question. Okay. Do you think zombies could drown? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cite uh, Pirates of the Caribbean on this one and say no. I like that citation. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking you were going to say, where's the rum? But Yeah. Uh, I mean, that, I guess, but that wouldn't really make any sense. No, but I like that line. Because the, uh, the uh, in Pirates of the Caribbean 1, they're sort of zombies, right? Like, when they're in the moonlight, they're in, they turn into skeleton people. Yeah. I mean, they're cursed, they're actually. Dead. They're not really... They're, they're dead. Yeah. But uh, they walk on the bottom of the ocean just fine, and then climb up onto the boat and start murdering people, so... I would consider that a curse, not so much a zombie. Yeah, it's true. But, I mean, they're zombie-like. You just wonder how, their muscles, how muscles work, then. For zombies, I know there's there's a scientific explanation for it, but I mean, if there's no, I oxygen, don't think there is a scientific explanation. Well, because some, zombies don't exist. You can just say that it's the virus that's you know getting the brain going. But I mean, what makes the brain going if there's no oxygen in the brain? That's why zombies don't exist. <laughs> well, that we know of yet. I like how in one of the meetings, like either last week or a few weeks ago, someone was talking about zombies in The Walking Dead or something. But he said he mentioned something about facts. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I think you're thinking of something else. I might be thinking of unless I wasn't there, but I've been there for every single meeting. Yeah, except that one that you missed. Yeah, that one. I was one. I missed <laughs> every one. single meeting. I missed except, one you know, this summer. That's pretty the good. The one that you didn't. Um, maybe I'm thinking of something else. But someone started trying to talk about facts when it comes to the zombie apocalypse. At some point in my life, I really life. don't think you can call facts. And I'm like, besides that, you're gonna get hunted. I'm like, I, I don't think. I don't think you can... I don't think that's possible. You can't do that. So, yeah. Zombies. That was a total turn. I wasn't expecting to talk about zombies today. I mean, it came up. Speaking of zombies... Okay. I was watching DayZ Mm -hmm. playthroughs on Twitch. Yep. I just kind of got introduced to Twitch because my Xbox One is awesome because I went to go look at some demos because I was waiting for the dryer to finish. And I had like 20 minutes, so I'm like, okay, well, let's just look at a cool demo. Well, Xbox One has zero demos, really. Yeah. There's like the Hobbit Lego game, and then there is Thief, and then there's FIFA, and that's it. Dead Rising 3. Yeah, I don't want to play Dead Rising. Just speaking of zombies, that's a good I'm point. Just, I'm just saying, it's got a demo. But when you look at games, there's somebody most often playing it on Twitch. Mm-hmm. And so, like, it was really cool. Like, so I got. Looking at that, and I saw the DayZ playthrough, which is a zombie, massive multiplayer game, mm-hmm. which is still on alpha. But that game's gonna release at some point. You know what? Most games that stay in alpha this long stay in alpha That's forever. True. Or they just don't really, yeah, they don't really come out of alpha. And no, they just say like, okay, this is the final release now, even though there's not like there'll be more updates are coming. There's no like definitive point where they're saying this is released. I really want to play Daisy. I mean, technically, it has been released because originally it was a mod of um, Arma 2. Arma. But now they're like releasing a standalone. But technically, the mod is the full version. And they're releasing a standalone now. I just wish I had a computer that could handle it. Google bought Twitch, didn't they? Did oh, they? I don't know. Yeah, there's something about how they're bringing a bunch of crap from YouTube over to Twitch. Like... Um, audio copyright crap that YouTube went through. Wait, what? People are mad about it. What's happening? I don't know, just things like... I don't understand how those two can coincide. Go ahead and explain it to me. Why would somebody be mad? Because Google owns YouTube. That's how they coincide. Um, well, I know that part. Okay. Which, have you ever gone to Google Video? No. Me neither. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> uses Google Video. Um, because they don't want their videos to be taken down because they're playing a game which they don't own the copyright to. Because... Why would they? And they don't own the audio to it. And that's the whole thing. Weird. That's why people are mad when they went through and took down a bunch of YouTube videos because of the same thing. Yeah, they're pretty white knight about that stuff. Yeah. I hate that. It's obnoxious. 
It really is. I just want to watch some Family Guy clips. That's why I don't uh, monetize any of my videos because I don't technically own the rights to it. Not that I'd make enough money on them well, anyway. What would you make money off of? I, you know, I got like three views. I could I could make like half a cent. Third of a the third. Wait, point. You, can't you cash out so after a million point. views? Yeah. How much money do you get after a million views? Mm -hmm. I thought you got like like ten cents per a thousand views or something. I don't know, but I know you can only cash out after you hit a million. Yeah, I don't know. That's not a lot of money. It's really not. I don't know how people you, make money off YouTube. Yeah, I don't know how YouTubers like PewDiePie, Markiplier, um. I don't understand how PewDiePie is so popular. All right, go on. I don't understand that either. And people, because I love Markiplier, but I see in the comments all the time, how come people who like Markiplier don't like PewDiePie? And I'm like, I just don't I just, like how he just... I wonder why. He's a really high-pitched voice, a weird accent that I can't understand, and he's screeching. He's obnoxious. One time, a few years ago, uh, the RA who lived across the hall when I was in the dorms, he had this kid, I don't know. I don't know why. It was some sort of like... Big Brother program or something, I don't know, whatever. But so he brought him back to the dorms, and he told my roommate and I to entertain him for whatever reason. So he came into our room, got on my roommate's computer, and was like, oh, check out these videos, they're so funny. Opens up a PewDiePie video, and I'm like, oh, God. Oh, man. And then we watched, like, three 20-minute long PewDiePie videos, and I wanted to kill myself. Have you watched any Markiplier yet? It's the absolute worst, no. Why haven't you watched Markiplier yet? I've been asking for the past four weeks. It doesn't interest me because you keep asking me. Oh. But yeah, but if I don't ask you, it still isn't going to... It's going to have the same exact exactly. effect. I wonder if any of our viewers have actually gone and checked out Markiplier since. That's why I don't ask you to watch Achievement Hunter videos. Because you said you weren't interested in them. So I'm like, alright. I'm not going to bother you with it. Well, I could trade views. I guess. I'll go look at Achievement Hunter if you go look at Markiplier. I guess, but... You know, I feel like you would enjoy it more if you just went and found it because you were interested. No, in how else do you it? like start finding stuff without recommendations? Yeah, the suggested view box oh, in the oh, side some, of YouTube. Oh, somebody or something suggested to you? That's interesting. <laughs> Someone I don't know who didn't actually say anything to me, and I have a choice whether to watch so it. So a computer or not. did it. Yeah. You letting yourself be controlled by computers? I don't see the problem. I would absolutely become a robot if the option was available. Bison Tangle Man, right over here. I've never seen that movie. Me neither. I'm just guessing. <laughs> Heard it was really bad. What? I thought it was like a classic. I guess, but... Wasn't sister, that Robin Williams? My sister said it was boring. I have no idea. I think it was Robin Williams. Shout out to Robin Williams. Man. Rip in peace. Aladdin. Your turn. Flubber. Mrs. Doubtfire. I don't know any others. <laughs> I knew Aladdin and Flubber. Are you serious? Yeah. Goodwill Hunting. He was not a, uh, a very... Critical part of my childhood. So. Oh, U.S. for me. There you go. Peter Pan. Isn't Peter Pan? He was Peter Pan. Oh, I thought only girls played Peter Pan. Because he's like a teenage boy. Well, he he has the ability to play so many different roles. Like, yeah, he he has that amount of energy. Okay, we were not talking about bad sad stuff. So let's talk about that's speaking, that speaking of bad stuff, not sad stuff. Tell me about your uh, living arrangements. How how was that was a real smooth segue? You know, I consider sad and bad that, a good segue. That made me that hurt me inside. All right, so I talked about how my water heater wasn't working. Uh, a few, when a few podcasts. Oh ago. yeah, that's right. And uh, so I'm in that position again. Why? Okay, so originally the thing just like shut off and it wasn't turning on, and I was like, I don't know how to fix this. My landlord came by eventually, and he fixed it. Uh, so I woke up yesterday, and I hear some, like, water running. And I'm like, all right, well, it was raining, like, all day the day before, so I thought maybe it was just, like, running off the house or something. You know, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it, it, even though it was, like, sunny in the morning, I was like, uh, you know, I don't know. Whatever. The water keeps, you know, rolling for another yeah. 24 hours. It, I mean, maybe it just stopped as I woke up. I don't know. Um, I'll allow it. So I go to take a shower. And it's like freezing cold again. I'm like, oh, great. Here we go again. <laughs> I go down to the basement where the water heater is, and there's just water like gushing out the center of the water heater. How fast would you be saying it's pouring out? Pretty quick. Uh, I mean, I don't know water speeds. <laughs> like, <laughs> water discharge. A gallon speeds. an hour, or? 
I don't, you know how much a gallon of water, you know what a gallon of milk looks like. Yeah. You know that I don't, volume of liquid. I, I couldn't say, like, that much was... I'm going to say sure. Why not? It was oh. It was coming out pretty good. Like, it wasn't like a drizzle. It was like... It was coming out. It was like a faucet. Yeah, basically. Well, why couldn't you just chosen that? Because I, I didn't think of it. I'm not that smart. Well, you got to be clever and witty. Yeah, as if I know what that's like. So, I call my landlord. I bet he loves your phone call. Oh, absolutely he does. And he's like, all right. Uh, well, first I shut the water off because I was like, I can't have that. Then I call my landlord and he's like, all right, make sure you shut off the water or whatever. I'll be over in like an hour because I guess he lives like an hour away or something. I don't know, whatever. And uh, so he comes over, takes a look at it, and he's working on it for like a couple hours. This is why we didn't record the podcast yesterday. Right. We were going to. He's looking at it for a couple hours and, and then he comes up to me and he's like, so I got some good news and I got some bad news. The bad news is that water heater's shot. Because it's got... Duct you know, tape and... <laughs> basically. Um, he said there's like a leak over the heating element or something. Ooh, yeah. Like, it can't fix it. You would have to replace it. But, so he's working on getting that. To get it replaced. I guess he's going to replace it with a, an on-demand heater or something. I don't know what that is. I've never heard it before. But he's not going to... I've only re- heard of it with like Dish TV or whatever. Yeah. On-demand. <laughs> Good one. Uh, but he's not going to replace it with like another 40-gallon tank or whatever. He said, the good news is there's another water heater in the house that go that connects to the other shower that's in the house. Um, but he said, like, it was turned off because, I guess, the other uh, tenants never used it or whatever. And uh, this morning I found out why they never use it. Why? <laughs> because the the dial for that shower, it's, you know, normally there's, like, a range of, of uh, <laughs> temperature that you can get. Yes. On this one, it's, you know, it's, like, if it's in the center, it's turned off, right? Normal. You turn it to the right, and it's cold. You turn it to the left, and it's hot. So it there's there's no range. You can't, <laughs> there's no middle ground. It's either ice cold or the volcano of Mount Doom. <laughs> and uh, so that was an experience. Uh, but I think I can actually turn the temperature down on the water heater. So I'm going to go do that when I get home. Um, or every time I go to take a shower until the other... We, until the other shower gets fixed, uh, I run it for like 20 minutes before I actually get in. Oh, so the hot water's gone. Take the take the edge off a little bit. <laughs> so it feel like it's melting off your skin, yeah, basically. <laughs> so that's been my life, you know. You know, that reminds me sucks. of when I first moved into here. I have two showers, as you know. I have, mm-hmm. I have a master and then I have my guest bathroom. So I'm used to like the regular. It's not. It's, I'm used to like the pull out, and then you turn left uh-huh. or right. You know, right being cold, left being hot. Yeah. Well, in, and hopefully, like the bottom is the hottest setting, so you can like you know. Well, no, it doesn't even go to that. Like when I was at home, you know, you pull out, and it goes about to about three o'clock would be freezing cold. Right. And then at nine o'clock, it is melting your skin. Still better than what I have. Oh, absolutely. I, love I have it. 11 o'clock is burning my skin. <laughs> it doesn't go any farther. But when I moved in here, I have these knobs mm-hmm. that you turn. You yeah, know, like one is hot and one... Oh, no. It's, yeah, it's like... Like, that. like it, it turns on, the further you go, the more pressure, which mm-hmm. I don't understand. What if I wanted cold water, but all I have is a little trickle? That doesn't make sense. Oh, yes. But so anyway, Would you ever really want cold water, though? Like, is that a, ever a situation? I really don't know. But why, Why? okay, what if I wanted it 50-50? What if it's a really hot day out and I want it 50-50, like, room temperature? Yeah, at most I would go room temperature. Like, then maybe if like, I'm, like, ex- exercising or something. Ha, <laughs> exercise. Uh, <laughs> Shout go, out to exercise. You go, like, room temperature. <laughs> As if I ever do that. Um, I play basketball once in a while. What do you laugh? Basketball's fun. I do like basketball. You want to be on our... Uh, Intramural basketball? Team? Not really. No, I'm not that good. No. I mean, neither is Rico, but he's on it. So, uh, well, anyway, I'm not done with my story. Oh, sorry. <laughs> basketball. Shout out to basketball. You want to join my intramural football team? Yeah. No, oh, I don't have one, but let's join one. I mean, you want to join mine? We have one. You have one? Yeah. Dude, let's do it. All right. Is it like flag football? Yeah. Dude, let's do it. All right. When's it? When does it start? Uh, it's usually close to the beginning of the semester. Dude, this is awesome. I'm just got excited. Anyway, so. I, moved I, to, I should say, I don't actually know if we're going to do one this year, but we have oh, in, don't the past, tease in the past two years, so I assume we'll have another one. Don't tease me like that. There's no point to not. Plus, everybody who's going to be on the team is living in my house, so. I'm oh, sure, really? I'm sure we'll do it, yeah. That's cool. Do I have your permission to tell my story yet? If you want. I would love to tell my I story. I might interrupt you again. You, you never know. <laughs> so I moved in, 
And I'm like, I have a master bathroom and a master bedroom. I'm so I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Because I've never had those before. I've never had my own shower. I've never had my own bedroom. I've never had anything connected. So I went into the master bedroom and the knob's on the bottom. All right. So going to the right, I still considered cold. And going to the left, I still considered hot. It took me a week to figure out that that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not fair because, like, do you know how sometimes they have the plate right behind the knob that says H over here and C yeah. over here? It, that was correct. Like, the C was at the 3 o'clock, and the H was at the 9 o'clock. So not only was I used to taking it all the way to, like, just opening up a little bit then to get the... Well, I mean, I would have had to open it up just to get a little bit of hot water out. And going all the way to the right, which I figured would all the way be cold, would, and so I didn't touch that. Wow, can we cut this out? This sounds bad. Nah, keep going. Anyway, the problem is it's not a video podcast, and you have a lot of hand motions. I know I have right a lot now. of hand motions because I'm trying to figure out three o'clock, nine o'clock times, and clockwise. All right, go ahead. Cut clockwise, counterclockwise. Um, no, this doesn't work. <laughs> uh, shout out oh, to. Oh man, I'm still Farms. dizzy. <laughs> right, go ahead. Um, so basically, long story short, it took me about a week to figure out that. That shower just was not for me. <laughs> I still have trouble figuring out, as you can tell right now. I'm all confused about which way it's supposed to go, which way it doesn't go now. So, Do you want to take the podcast into the bathroom so you can actually I show really me? Do. No, I really feel No, that's weird. We're not doing that. Good point. The master bedroom, bathroom is messed up. It's a joke. LOL. Uh, I broke a light earlier. <laughs> How do you... and then... Tell us about the, uh, the rats that were in your house. <sighs> There's no rats. Hold on. Before I... Not only did I break a light... I punched a hole in the wall. Well, I didn't. I had oh friends God. up, and there's a hole in the wall, so I had to spackle that, and I have to now super glue the spackle. light together. <laughs> Spackle's a funny word. <laughs> the refrigerator's still dead from the last time we talked. There were mice in my house last week. Did you did you get them all out? Like, yeah, they're all gone. Like, what's going on with that? They're gone. You said you were going to text me when you, like, conquered them or whatever. I conquered. I, I came, I, I saw, I conquered. Nice. I That was one of the most... Emotional weeks of my entire life. Shouldn't have given them names. You wouldn't have gotten attached <laughs> to them. I named them all. They were. They were you told me you named their graves. Is what you well, did. Well, that same thing. Psycho. Well, it's not psycho. It's a little I, psycho. If, if I admit it, it's psycho. But if somebody finds it, and then it's. I think no matter what, if you <laughs> do it, it's a psycho move. Like, it's mice. They don't have feelings, right? <laughs> But yeah, that, that, was, that was tough, <laughs> extinguishing the life of six small mammals. Yeah. Why well, couldn't it just been one? Don't you hunt? Like, don't you... That's different. I don't name Is the it deer. Though? Yes. Exactly. You don't name the deer. <laughs> so you don't get attached to them. So when you break their tiny little necks, <laughs> you don't have a problem with it. I don't... That was that your first <laughs> mistake. <laughs> you, <laughs> then I just stabbed through the heart with a pointy object. Going very fast. Oh my god. <laughs> and they're not in my house. And they're not adorable with big poofy ears and little brown eyes. You got issues, dude. I choose which animals I love. You need to check yourself. Otherwise, you're going to wreck yourself. Nah, that was classy. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, when my refrigerator died, I had all this frozen meat and everything in the freezer. Oh, god. Which, the first thing to go, everybody, is the freezer. Because I guess that's where the cold air starts. And then they cycle it down into the refrigerator unit. Makes sense. So, the first thing to go, after the first few days, I noticed that the temperature was going down in the refrigerator. Everything was defrosted. Oh, God. That was the worst smell I've ever smelled. And then I left the jug of milk in there for a couple days. (laughs) Good thinking. I'll tell you what, guys. This has been the summer that has not goodness. But it's also the summer that we started the podcast. And golf. And golf. We should probably go golfing again. Yeah, we should. It rained Monday. I don't know when we're going to do that, though. I know. School. Saturday, maybe. I won't be home until six o'clock for my adventure, for Mount Bohemia. Oh right, never mind. We should probably we need to record the podcast on Sunday next this coming Sunday. Okay. Because uh, I got a roommate moving in on Monday. And That's so fine. I probably won't be able to do it. I'll probably, I probably my dad will be here. So can you be on the podcast? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we would talk about with my dad. <laughs> eh, you know, whatever. So Jeeps, dad. Which you have nothing to contribute when it comes to automotive talk. Does he know football? Can we talk about football? He does not know football. I grew up in a family. Nobody in my family played sports besides me. 
Nobody watches sports besides me. Nobody listens to sports besides me. Nobody talks sports besides me. How did you live? Oh. You know, I didn't... I, it's only until I got to college that... Well, I mean, I played baseball. That was the only sport I really cared why? about. I love baseball. Don't even say why. <laughs> Too late. Um, I started at T-ball when I was four, and then I played through high school, and then in college, just, I had three jobs, and didn't have time for it. I know the feeling. You had three jobs? You played sports? I did. What'd you play? Uh, I played... Good story. So, moving on. Oh, I'm just kidding. Go ahead, Rappa. MC Insecure. <laughs> Yo, I'm MC Insecure. What's up? Uh, you know they call me Ice-T, though. It, nobody calls you that. You're wrong. Well, they do on the streets. They call you Peace-T. No, I'm, I'm pretty hardcore. Okay. Uh, no, I, I played... KD spread. <laughs> yeah. I played basketball from... Fourth till uh, eighth grade. Why? Because you know, my, my everyone around me expected me to because I was the tallest person in my class. That's true. You do have that advantage. Yeah, uh, I played flag football. I tried to play tackle football, but I got broken in half the first time I got tackled. So I was like, I'm, I don't think this is for me. Uh, I played t-ball and soccer when I was younger, and then I was like, I don't like these sports, so I'm gonna stop that. And uh, now I just play like. Recreational basketball. My dad played... I, I take that back. My dad played softball and golf. Oh, and golf. Yeah, I started playing golf when I was like 10, so... Yeah, me too. I always forget about that because it's the only sport I'm still playing a lot of. I only but remember really the sports I quit. a sport? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you kind of... It's considered a sport, but I mean, like, is that one that you necessarily brag about? Not, mostly... No, because mostly people don't care. Like, oh, exactly. You, oh, you play golf? That's lame. So do my doctors and dentists. Big whoop. So I just don't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> my uh, my eye doctor plays golf. Um, I'm pretty sure every doctor it's part of like the training. Yeah, you exactly. have to golf. Because what else would they do on that fifth day of work? Right. Exactly. Uh, I knew a person who said that the only sports are ones that are in the Olympics. Everything else is just like a hobby or something. I'm like, that's, that's stupid. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Tell that person they're ignorant. They're not allowed to use their mouth ever again. Because they're basically saying that like football and s- soccer and Olympics. Yeah, football isn't a sport because there's because America is the only place that plays football. I don't know why more people haven't picked it up because they play rugby instead, and they think they're more hardcore because of it. I don't, know. I don't even know how to play rugby. I once watched a rugby game between the United States and Canada. Oh, I'm sure that was enticing. And I was like, why are these two people... And it was in, like, Carolina, too. It was really, it was really bizarre. Like, nobody from these two countries cares about rugby. Why is this happening on TV right now? I don't know. Do you consider NASCAR a sport? Uh, They're starting to consider it a sport. I would consider it a sport, yeah. I heard it's really actually physically enduring. I mean, you get to I, think... I believe it. You're going so fast... What's your mind doing the whole time? I mean, you're thinking about... You're trying not to crash into stuff. Trying to crash. Like, I'm going you know, hundreds of miles an hour. I am, you know, trying not to let the guy pass behind me so I'm not leaving him any gaps. But I have to pass the guy in front of me while listening to the calm. To, you know, know when to get, like, tires rotated and gas up and stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah. It's much more... It's just like golf. It's more of a mental sport than it is, like, a physical one. Except if it's really hot. Golf sucks when it's hot. It does. Because, I mean, then it's... I get irritable. You know that. I mean, <laughs> I, it's, it's not like, I could tell from, you know, before we started the podcast. I never really get piss piss. Like, it's more like goofy piss because mm-hmm. I never really get real pissed. Sure. But when it's hot, it's multiplied. There's a factor that's mm-hmm. multiplied upon it. Did you know you walk, like... Three miles during 18 holes of golf? No way. Yep. Yeah. Like riding in a cart, you walk three miles. That's crazy. If you like walk 18 holes, it's like six miles. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. My dad had a Fitbit, I think they're called. Yeah, Fitbit. Where they like measure the number of steps you take and how far that is and everything. And he always wears it when he goes golfing. And then, like, right when he's done, he takes a look at it. And That's cool. It, and it, it was always consistently around like three miles. Yeah, I'm kind of tired after a game, especially if it's yeah. a hot, if it's a warmer day. Yeah. I'm normally a little bit bushed. Never seems like it's that far, but yeah, not that three miles is even that far to be honest. No, it really isn't, especially when it's stretched out over a few hours. Yeah, but still, it's like you know, it's not a bad workout. No, golf is fun. Shout out to golf. I'm getting a treadmill. Yeah, yeah, dude. There's one upstairs. Cool. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I 
That's my contribution. Nice. Treadmills. What brand is it? Uh, go fast. Okay, I like that. Brand. I really don't know. I haven't even seen it. I don't know. I just hear it up there, and so I asked my landlord, "Like, oh, after a ton of sleep, can I have it?" He's like, "Sure, I don't care." I don't know treadmill brands. Wilson. Reynolds. Wilson. Spalding. Sure. I don't know. Whatever. So, I what else did you bring today? Stuff. Well, I want to... Do you see... Can you describe what I have to eat now? Because I haven't had a fridge in about two weeks. Chicken and rice, beef stew, But, but, but what, what, what is chicken and rice? It's rice mixed with chicken. What do you want but, from me? But I want you to just explain that. It's this little plastic container. All right, good job. You just explained good. it. Good. So, I'm glad everybody... If anybody knows like, the Hormel Completes line of... Okay. Shut of up. Food. I am done discussing that's, it. That's what is this? Happens. That looks like a bruised apple to me. Well, Yeah. A very tiny bruised apple. Why would they sell bruised apples? They probably didn't even know it was bruised. As if they care. You still bought it, so what does it matter to them? Because I'm never going to buy those apples again. If anything, it's a win. Nobody else was going to buy it. Screw you, Walmart. <laughs> shout out to Walmart. No, no shouts to Walmart. Call out to Walmart. Yeah. That's the bad person. Yeah, fisticuffs. Yeah, put your dukes up, Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I got nothing else to talk about. You want to talk about the most important thing that everybody's uh, everybody's minds are on right now? You want to talk about boobs? Uh, no. Oh. What, are, what are you, some kind of dirty straight? Um, <laughs> what? I mean, obviously, everybody's talking about Disney's acquisition of LucasArts, clearly. So I think in, a, in an attempt to stay relevant and current, we should probably talk about all the projects that were affected. But actually, serious question, is it all of LucasArts or was it only the Star Wars IP? I don't actually know. I thought you looked it up. I think it's all of LucasArts because that includes all the video games that got put on hold and everything. Yeah, I mean, those were all Star Wars video games, though. But I'm talking like, does Disney have... What else does LucasArts own? Indiana Jones. Oh, they don't have Indiana Jones. Must have just been Star Wars IP, then. Yeah. Well, would you really want Indiana Jones right now? <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like... Except for the, the Lego video games. Those did really well. Yeah. But that's not enough to buy a, the rights to. Yeah. So shout out to the topic from like a year ago. Disney owning LucasArts. <laughs> Shut up, Ross. You have bad ideas. I hope he listens to this. How badly does Ross want to be on the podcast? A lot. I think a lot of people want to be on the podcast, which is great. We I actually think. got compliments on it from people who said, yeah, I don't think we should do a podcast. Now they're like, dude, podcast, that's a great idea. It's fun. It's so much fun. Like, we spend an hour to an hour and a half to two hours each week babbling about nonsense, and we still get... A considerable amount of views yeah. compared to most of our videos. It's basically a more interesting beat. Nah, forget it. You want to try it again? No. No, I'll give you another nah, try. Man. Mulligan. You give me plenty of those when we go golfing, so go ahead. <laughs> I mean, I don't give them to you. You can just have them. I don't... Well, I have to ask every time. You really don't have to ask. <laughs> like, I mean, you could tell me you're taking a mulligan so I don't like walk in front of you just as you're swinging and you kill me. That's my way of saying, but you don't need to ask. Look out. Like, hey. Can I take it? Every time from now on, I'm just going to say, no, you can't have a mulligan. Just you know what I'm going to do? With it. Just take one anyway? Nope. No. I will hit it out of that woods. I will God. go. I will make those people behind us wait for us as I'm searching for that ball. Oh, God, that hurts me inside. I know. It hurts me too, but you want it to happen. You brought this by yourself. Oh, you got me. You got me good. Let me describe for you this ultimate roast beef sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what is your perfect Sunday? All right, go ahead. Roast beef sandwich. Go for it. So this is on the back of a Dinty Moore beef stew. D Why'd you get Dinty Moore? Because it's delicious. What about like Campbell's? Isn't that like better? No. Oh. Not for stew. Okay. Soup? Yes. I don't know. If I don't Dinty eat more mixed I don't soup. eat super stew. Huh? So I have no idea. <laughs> what sound was that? <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear that later. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it was actually Dakota. I'm just. Oh, yeah? yeah? Well, let me first read off kind of like what's inside this. How come... Any can is made so that you need a can opener. Oh, is that what that's for? Oh, okay. Are you serious? I, it didn't look like it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Do you, want, do you want to describe what just happened there? Sort Andrew, of? cut that out. All right, go ahead. Um, so, Andrew doesn't understand that there's these like little key tabs on top. He thought they were for aesthetic reasons. Yeah, it could have been. But actually, so you, you can, can take this and you lift it like a, like a soda can? If, you can lift it and then you can like hang it on something. All right, go ahead. That's what it's there for. But it's like a pop can. Yeah. And then you peel back. All right, do it. Well, I don't want to eat right now. I want to see it. I want to see it in action. Well, can I go get a spoon first? No. Well, I'm not just going <laughs> to leave an open can of soup. You just you chug it. Drink it out of the can. Beef stew? Yeah. 
This thing is like thick like jello. <laughs> pudding. So? Right? Pudding. You can no, drink no. pudding? Yeah, but you get little globs all over the place. Plus this has carrots, potatoes, and beef in it. <laughs> this podcast sponsored by Dintymore. <laughs> I had to look at the can because I didn't remember what the brand was. <laughs> anyway, the, for these roast beef sandwiches... Also, it's stew. Why do you keep calling it a sandwich? I'm confused. No, because I just said on the back. Oh, I didn't say that. All right, go they ahead. have these. <laughs> you did not say that. You said, I "Let said me tell you about these roast, roast beef sandwiches." Like, what are you talking about? Oh. Sandwiches. So, on the back of this can of Dinty More beef stew, shout out to Dinty More, made by Hormel Foods. Part Same of the as the complete. <laughs> <So. laughs> Dude, you got like it's like matching clothes but with food. Oh no, that's got a lot of sodium in it. That's not good. I didn't look at that before. Anyway. <laughs> So you take one of these cans of soup, and you just pour it over... It's stew, not soup. <laughs> so you take one of these cans of jello consistency... No, pudding consistent stew, and you just pour them over a six-inch sub or a hoagie roll. Would you want to eat carrots stew like that stuff? Like I figure you pour that over like a hot dog. It looks like it's poured over a hot dog. <laughs> That'd be good if it was poured over a hot dog. Yeah, it'd be like chili. Yeah, sort of. Minus the chili. Yeah. I like how there's just like peppers and a tomato off to the side. Yeah. Like, well, what is that? It's, it's for accenting colors. Yeah, of course. All right. So now that Dakota's been relieved of whatever his problem Business. was. Business? Uh, I got nothing to talk about, so. Well. That's the end of the podcast. Do you want to talk about how our preseasons went uh, last week? I guess. I mean, football, right? People care about football. On a video game podcast. Wait, no, no, no. You told me you had stuff waiting for Bioware or Bungie or something like that. Oh, yeah. Bioware's got some news. You want to hear about it? I do. Uh, More so you, than life itself. Uh, okay. I'll start with the... Do we have any pictures to upload while we're watching stuff this week? No. Oh, that's too bad. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. Because that's a lot of work. I tried to do that on a few podcasts ago. Uh, you did it perfectly last week. Or did it take you a long time to do that? Well, that was only like two or three pictures, though. Oh, yeah. I tried to do it where I put in like videos of whatever we were talking about. It didn't work as well? I mean, it worked, but it's just a lot of of time, a lot of effort to go through. Oh, effort. That sucks. I just didn't want to do it anymore. Um, Do you want the... uh, the, It's not really good news, bad news. I don't know why I'm trying to spin it that way. All right, so they announced a new game at Gamescom, and uh, Bioware did. It's called... I forgot it already. Shadow, Realm of Shadows or something. And uh, it's like an online four versus one RPG type game. So is it like Evolve? Kind of, I think. In a sense. And that's it. That's all I know about it. That's it? Was, it? it was announced. Yeah. That, that's it? They had some like... You didn't look into it before the podcast? Absolutely not. I saw it. I saw the news story like two minutes before I left the house. So I would have given you another seven minutes to look nah. it up. I can look it up right now, but... No, why don't you do that right now? I don't really we'll filibuster. Right. It, filibuster and vamp, two different things. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. I can talk about the other news. Uh, you know who Casey Hudson is? Mm-mm, I know who Vanessa Hudgens is. That's a totally different person. Mm. Uh, Casey, what, Casey Hudson. <laughs> I said his name, immediately forgot what his name was. That's what happened right there. Casey Hudson is the project lead for Mass Effect. Oh, really? Yeah, he, uh, he left Bioware. Let that sink in. That's big news. It is big news. Mass Effect 4 isn't done. No, it isn't. Why do you leave? I have no idea. Where's he going? He the His statement was like, was one of those typical like, yeah, I think it's the right time in my career to go and try and find something else or some crap like that. I don't know. Whatever. Who's the parent company for Bioware? Uh, EA. Oh, that's funny. Maybe it was because of EA it was putting pressure on for some reason. I don't think so. It sounded like he was. it was his choice to leave. Yeah, but nobody's... There's two reasons why people just up and leave when you're project lead for a major video game. First is because you had a better offer from somewhere else. Second is because you couldn't stand the shit from your boss. There's no middle ground. Or maybe you just wanted to do something different besides Mass Effect. Why? Why would he choose now? It seems a little arbitrary. Maybe he just... I don't know. Maybe he like just he, wants something different. But he can't I'm not Casey Hudson, all right? I can't speak for him. I can guarantee you right now they have the whole story of Mass Effect created. Mass Effect 4. I'm sure they're creating character models right now. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they have. You're confident. I am confident. I'm sure they're creating character models. They're probably going through the whole process where they have somebody who's dressed up right now with little black dots all over them, and they have the the video that watches them. 
I mean, it's called mocap, but okay. Is it really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I'm new to this. Motion capture. Oh, well. Okay. They're working on the motion capture. And, hmm, interesting. So, yeah. I bet, I bet that's what the stages are in. I bet they're character modeling right now. All right. And then soon they'll be in developing, you know, putting the characters in along with the background. They probably have concept art in right now. Speaking of games with concept art, I remember being so excited for Halo Wars 1. Well, not that there's a sequel. Why? What, you weren't excited for that game? No. Halo Dude, Wars was terrible. You hated it? I don't like RTSs, so that's why. I really liked it. But then again, I like RTSs. Also, RTSs on console would be even worse. It was really clean. Yeah, still. It was great. I like to play it on mine. I'm not going to play it. Just skirmish. I don't like RTSs. I'm so bad at them. Well, then that's why, because you're bad. Yeah. Anyway, there's a, there is a achievement you can get that says, ready for the sequel. That's when you complete all the achievements. I'm still waiting for the announcement of a sequel. Didn't Ensemble, like, get shut down right before it uh, was released? Why would they shut down Ensemble before the release of a game? I would consider it after. I just thought that's what happened. I don't know. Hang on, I'll look that up. Yeah, too. look that up. Holy crap. I'm mind blown, and I'm waiting for it. I could have sworn, and I cannot find it. I may have dreamt it, but a long time ago I thought I rented a game... That had on it a trailer for Republic Commando 2. A long, long, long time ago. Not like recently. Oh, they were developing a Halo MMO. Ensemble was. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Uh, that'd be horrible. It would. <laughs> be good. There's not enough class. Like, race. Do you want to be a grunt? Do you want to be a brute? Do you want to be elite? Do you want to be human? Not much variety there. That's either coming in or human. I would rather have them do a Mass Effect MMO. That would be great. All these different planets. All these, you know, you can have the Reapers coming in. Did we talk about this already? No, nah, well, like personally, between MMO? you and me, but not on the podcast. Oh. Yeah, right. As if I remember. Uh, God, I can't find it. They shut down in 2009. 2009 was the same year that Halo Wars was released. I don't know if it was before or after. So, but, why don't you yeah. quick googly Halo Wars 2. Alright, it's not going to be any Well, they can just result. no such thing as Into that in E3 trailer. When was this? 2014? Uh, yeah, 2014. Oh, boom sauce! Hang on. This is What trailer are we watching right now? It says Halo Wars 2 hinted at in E3 trailer. What, but what's the trailer? I have no idea. I don't remember this game. The Witcher. It's not The Witcher. Shut up. How many down votes does it have? Five. How many views does it have? 22,000. I'm pretty sure this isn't legit. Oh, it's uh... It, okay, so in the background... I'll put this trailer in the link down. But in the background of this trailer, there's... Uh, like the promotional image for Halo Wars, I think, or what looks like it with like all the elites standing in a row with like energy swords and stuff. Um, yeah, but what company is making this game? I don't even know what this game is. Yeah, there you go, and it shows it. But I mean, that's the promotional image for Halo Wars. I don't see how that hints at Halo Wars Two. But it was on twenty fourteen. Yeah, I guess the servers are empty, man, on Halo Wars now. Oh, the Phantom Dust. I guess is in the game. I don't know who makes it though. Yeah. No information whatsoever. Thanks. This guy's cool. Three plav three, you suck. Shout out to him. Alright, so Casey Hudson. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Who makes Phantom Dust? <laughs> Who cares? I do. It's not ensemble, they're shut down. Do we have something else to discuss right now? Casey Hudson and Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get God, there. You suck. I know. Trust me, this week has been stressful enough. Do you know how many times I told me I suck? This is... <laughs> that is not the same game. That is an old game. Hang that on. is the original Xbox logo right there, yeah, my friend. That is... Hang on. Wait, there's no disambiguate? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, Phantom Dust Remake is announced for the Xbox One. That's not the question I asked. I don't care about Phantom Dust. I asked who made it. I know, but I was confused why oh. it was the original Xbox. Um... Designers, oh, Microsoft Game Studios. So, all right, I guess it's legit. Halo Wars 2 confirmed. Yes! Yes! I told you! <laughs> right. I, I didn't 
I don't remember seeing this game in E3. That's interesting. I'm look into that. Um, all right, so here's what Casey. Oh, so now all of a sudden you care. Anyway, keep going. I just don't, I mean, Casey I don't care about Halo Wars 2. I care about Phantom Dust. Casey Hudgens. Here's what he said. After what already feels like a lifetime of extraordinary experiences, I've decided to hit the reset button and move on from Bioware. I'll take a much needed break, get perspective, of, get perspective on what I really want to do with the next phase of my life, and eventually take on a new set of challenges. You totally lost me after you said reset button. I was thinking of the N64 that had you said the reset button. So there you go. That's That was the explanation. So, Bioware's new game, Shadow Realms, is 4v1 called Multiply. They didn't. Re- they seriously did not release hardly anything about it. Just like a trailer. Watch a trailer. No, it's not. Screw that. This isn't a video podcast. Okay. Because we haven't had 300 views on our first video yet, like we said. Yeah. Once we had 300 views, <laughs> live I stream. promise we will do a live stream. You will get to see Andrew and I for the first time. I mean, you see me in the behind the scenes video of Mach 7. Check it out. Well, I am still a pretty funny video character. Too. I like that video. I edited that one. It was funny. Yeah. Simba at the end. Mm-hmm. De, 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 de. Okay. Um, I got nothing else to talk about. You want to talk about sports? We were going to talk about sports and then we didn't. I'm still talking about N64 right now. Why, why do you want to talk about N64? Who cares? When can we play that? It's irrelevant. What? When is anything in you're this like, discussion? You're like Ross trying to bring up irrelevant stuff. All right, what do you say? When do we play N64? What? I don't care what you think anymore. Banjo-Kazooie. No. No. Okay. I just remember game cartridges and all the stupid buttons on the N64. I mean, that had to be one of the worst setups ever. The N64, absolutely. The one where you need the three hands to control it? Yes. Yeah. What was the point of the like the third little... Well, the, okay, so the one on the left what, had the a D-pad. D-pad and the one in the middle had the, yeah. tr- had the analog stick. And then the one on the right had the yellow buttons. Yeah, and A and B. And A and B, and then there was the big red star button, and there was Z on the back, mm-hmm. and then there was the... Left and right. Left and right. Yeah. That's the worst setup ever. It's a pretty bad setup. And on the N64 as well, why do you even have a reset button when everybody's just automatically just going to go hit off and then right back on? So you don't have to do two uh, switches? You can just press the reset button once? I'm pretty sure I spilled, like, pop on my reset button and it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so you, you actually use your reset button? No. Remember cartridges? Yeah. You had to blow them off? And they specifically said, don't blow on them. <laughs> Yeah, like, Did they really? Yeah. On the back, it's like, caution, do not blow inside the cartridge or something. Why? It worked every time. I know. <laughs> I don't know why they said that. It doesn't they make mean, any sense. They wanted you to get a brand new game. Yeah, probably. So sports. I vamped. Good job. Vamping when I wasn't looking anything up. Good job. Uh, yeah, you want to talk about sports? The Lions won. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it was a really boring game. Though. It was, incredibly, but they won 13-12. to 12, So They didn't have any primaries, right? What do you mean? They didn't have any other starters. I mean, they played the starters for like one series. I don't consider that for the game. And then took them out. Andrew's supposed to play this weekend. Which is annoying. I mean, Andrew's. Rogers. Which is annoying, but not altogether. uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Unexpected. No, not at all. That's usually what they do. Um, I turned that game off like in the third quarter, though, because everybody in every single segment of that game was just talking about Johnny Manziel. And I'm like, all right, I, I sort of tuned in to see him just because I wanted to, you know, because there was a big hype about him. Right. And then they just kept talking about him. Like, oh, my God, I cannot handle this. It was obnoxious. Green Bay game wasn't bad. But that's the only game I get up here. Mm-hmm. I can't watch Detroit up here. Really? It sucks, doesn't it? We're in Michigan. It doesn't make any sense. Well, we're really close to Green Bay. I mean, I mean, like when I was in the dorms, I watched it just fine. They came over. Well, maybe. They, I don't know. All that I could get was Green Bay. Okay. So anyway, it yeah. rained the whole entire time, dude. It was raining hard there. Is that what you said when I asked if it was raining there, that it was only in the first quarter? Um, Well, it rained really hard the first quarter. It kind of lightened up the second quarter, and then it came back the third quarter. Okay. What about the fourth quarter? I stopped watching because <laughs> it was boring. It really was awful. Like Green Bay could not receive a punt at all. Like, so it was wet. Well, yeah, plus it was a bunch of rookies. Yeah, that's also a good point. Um, but on their first possession, when they got kicked off to on their first possession, um, on their very first possession, they got a touchdown oh. by a rook, by one of the rookies. Nice. Yeah, it was actually really that, – that part was cool. And that's what I was like, this is going to be a good game because I'm like, okay, right off the first possession, they got a touchdown running right through. 
And then off of that, it was just boring. So wait, off the first possession or off the kick return? Off the first possession. No, no, that's not nearly as interesting. Well, I consider it for a rookie. For for it wasn't a wide receiver; it was a running back. Just ran right through the middle. Uh, sure. I consider that interesting on the first possession. I mean, I, you see touchdowns on the first possession all the time. Kick returns, you don't. That's interesting. No. I like that the Lions have a really good kick return this year <laughs> and last year. It makes me happy. Because everybody knows that's the first person you pick up when you have a league. Mm-hmm. Kickers and kicker receivers. Yeah. Special teams. Well, depending <clears throat> on what kind of league you have. <laughs> yeah. The league my dad and I were in was... Uh, Legit? Scores only. You didn't go by like yardage or anything. Oh, so. really? So you did not pick them up. You had running backs or quarterbacks. Yeah, but you still went by that, even if you do the type that does yardage. Because oh, so you lied to me. All right, cool. When did I say that you? I saw shit one. Do you want me to go back to the recording right now? You're like the first person you pick up or kick returners and kickers. I was being sarcastic. Oh, I couldn't tell. I was being so sarcastic there. You don't go for kickers right away. You also, I didn't actually running know. Running backs so or quarterbacks or receivers. Playing a different type of league. So your turn. All right, football. Um, let's talk about soccer next. I have very limited. Um. Uh, Who cares? Let's see. Soccer. I don't know what this can't do. L A Galaxy. All right. I got. I seriously have nothing else to talk about. Cool. So why don't we wrap it up? All right. Uh, go for it. <laughs> well, once again, thanks everybody for listening. This was MC Insecure, and I don't remember my name. Uh, MC gets sidetracked easily. So make sure you guys stick tuned for our next episode next week. Also, I'd like to point out that I never... Why had... would you interrupt my outro? Because I have more to talk about. I would like to point out that I never... Why can't we ever have a week where we just have... Hey, are you ready to wrap it up? Yeah. End. Because that's no, boring. Nobody wants to listen like to that. We wrap it up. Hey, you want to wrap up? Yeah. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Oh, and by the way... <laughs> I, I would like to point out that I never had any intention of wrapping this entire podcast. So, that's all. I can't free wrap. I wish I could. Well, that's why you rip off other people's raps. Why would I do that? Uh-huh. Lose yourself in the music. The ball makes you want. Makes well, you ever, never want to go, go. You only have one chance. One shot, one opportunity. Sees everything you ever wanted. One moment. I forget. One lifetime. Go! Mom spaghetti. Um. All right, yeah. Thanks for listening to episode eight. I thought I was supposed to wrap it up. I just did, so... Bye. Do you think, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Stop! <laughs>